I'm recording. I don't know. <laughs> Hello, family. <laughs> How are you? It's me, Miss Sam, and I got a face. Oh, isn't this a face? <laughs> I don't know whose face this is. <laughs> Lord of mercy. The wonders of makeup. I tell you, I look completely different. <laughs> Anywho, so um, I'm going to do a reading on Mrs. Vanessa Bryant. Cha. Hold on. I'm going to do a reading on Mrs. Sophia and how she feels about Miss Pam. Now, this is a reading that I should have done about a month ago, but nothing before it's time, you know? Miss Sophia. Okay. I got these on so I can pick up the details in the cards. Okay, so. Almost out of Kananga water, look. Almost out, just a wee bit left. So I've been using like um, vodka. See the vodka here that I've been taking a bit from. <laughs> And that one over there, you know, that one. Yeah. How is everyone doing? You all good? Here we go. Now let me choose the deck first and then I'll do the protection ritual.
Ache o. Thank you, all of the Mary. Ache. All right, let me spin you around a wee bit. Thank you, Ola Dumari. Can I please have three cards in regards to how um, Mrs. Lane thinks and feels about um, Mrs. Pam Bryant? Just, um, I want five cards. If you can give me three cards, please, and then another two. Okay, three significant cards and um, two for additional information. Thank you, Ache. all right so first three cards confidence in reverse listening in reverse beauty in reverse Now, to be honest with your family, I don't know um, this. I don't know um, what is happening, why this beauty card is in reverse for these two women. Because these are two older women and they should be secure within themselves. But it almost looks as if there's a competition between them, not in terms of physical beauty, but in something that they're doing. So we have two grandmothers who are doing some something. Look like they're reaching out to someone, very possibly their grandchildren. They're both pouring their energies and affections and, and one of them is, has a trying energy. One has more access than the other. I'm going to go ahead and say that Miss Sophia has probably more access to pouring out her energy and, and whatever it is that she's given. She has more access to do that with her grandchildren because her grandchildren are in the care of her daughter, Vanessa. The trying energy must be coming from Miss Pam. But both grandmothers are in the business of doing something beautiful for their grandchildren. But for some reason, the essence of the beauty is being taken away from it. So it has become like a competition. Don't know if that makes any sense. To me, does it make any sense? Sort of. It's a bit like, um, it's not like doing good deeds, but it's a bit like when you're extending love to somebody, but you're not doing it for the right reasons. Initially, you started doing it for the right reasons, but when you saw somebody else doing it it became like a competition and a rivalry to see whose gift is more impactful or whose you know and i'm just saying gift because i don't know what it is i don't know if it's reaching out to give things materially or whether it's reaching out with words and attention and letters i don't know I don't know what form it's, it takes but the essence of it should be beautiful but the beauty has been lost what we see here again this rose has a has been a theme that has come up in maybe two readings i believe but this is very very significant in particular it's significant for miss sophia hmm <laughs> okay <laughs> Another thing about this family is that, <laughs> Lord Jesus, <laughs> I don't know which grandmother this is, okay, but one of the grandmothers, either Miss Sophia or Miss Pam, they're actually putting a lot, put it this way, they're putting a lot of intention on whatever it is that they're sending out or giving towards the grandchildren. I guess it's the grandchildren. Olu Dumare hasn't told me that, but I mean, what else 
would they have in common? Who else would they have in common? That's a, that's a, a legitimate question. Who else does Miss Pam and Miss Sophia have in common? If not the grandchildren. Anyway, they're putting their intention heavily on whatever it is they're doing. This is coming from Miss Sophia, especially. It's, it's, it's um, more identifiable with Miss Sophia. So, for example, if Miss Sophia was giving this to her grandchildren, then she would be subjecting this to some kind of chant or speaking over it or prepping it with some kind of oil or something like that or sprinkling something on it. Yeah, obviously not to harm the children or whoever, but to enhance the love so they feel the love and to kind of, in a way, control them and bring them into her way of thinking. It's a bit like when one grandmother says to the children, oh, you know, grandmummy loves you. Your other grandmummy, what, what did she give you? Like, it's, you know, like for birthdays and things like that. <laughs> there are some grandmothers who say to their grandchildren, do you like the present I bought you? Isn't it wonderful? You really wanted that for a long, long time, didn't you? And, and what did your other grandmummy get for you? <laughs> Is that type of thing. <laughs> Excuse me, wig. There is competition and rivalry. We all seen it. Do you remember there was this video last year that went viral of two grandmothers who actually were having a ruckus in the hall. They were, they were fucking each other up. <laughs> they were having a ruckus. They were. <laughs> <laughs> it was some um, whoa, whoa, and so <laughs> it was ever so good to watch. But you know, it was really <laughs> it was entertaining to watch. But it was really, really sad because, like, behind it, there's this newborn baby. And the mom has just had the baby and they really don't need that. The mom don't need all that to hear a big old fight broke out inside of the hallway between the grandmas. So you see, competition starts from early. This rose in reverse has the energy of um, spiritual competition on it as well. Yeah, a little bit extra added to that thing. Oh, here you are. You know, but it's not just here you are, I bought this from the store, take this type of thing. It's like, okay, well, uh, let me put a little something on this, you know, before I give it to, um, before I give it to Sharon. You know, let me just put a little, grandma loves you, grandma loves you. Yes, look at this every day. When you look at this every day, you'll see how much grandma loves you. Yes, grandma loves you. Grandma loves you. Grandma loves you. You know, it's that kind of thing. You put your intention onto the thing. You put your energy into the thing with the, the intention that you want. What you want, what your aims, your spiritual goal is. Yes. And then you gift this thing. Okay. Now, of course, that can go in many different ways, which is why one should be wary. You don't have to be a witch to be wary. But in general, people should be wary about accepting gifts from people. You see what happened to Snow White, don't you? <laughs> she met the old woman who gave her the apple. Was it Snow White or one of them? Gave her the apple. And Snow White, licky licky, greedy, and ate the apple. All those um, fairy tales, especially like the European fairy tales, okay, whether they're original or not, those fairy tales, the, the um, Grimm's Brothers fairy tales, all contain some element of somebody being gifted something, something magical, where somebody has sprinkled some kind of intention on it. And when they eat it, it's either a good or a bad or a controlling or a something, you know, some kind of effect, right? So this, this is what... Um, 
this card is telling me. Okay, so the first card is confidence in reverse. I think this card has shown up in the first place because it seems like for years Miss Sophia had confidence in terms of her relationship and what she had over Miss Pam. I just got to put it to you just like that. This is how it's coming to me. She was happy, Miss Sophia was happy to be in a, a more, you might say privileged position than Miss Pam because she was on the inside and Miss Pam was on the outside. Okay, if you want to put it that way, because this is how it's coming up in the energy. So I guess this is the way my God is putting it. Miss Sophia was on the inside. Now, for most people, that might just seem like common sense anyway, because she is Vanessa's mum. And Vanessa is the one who carries the babies and gives birth to the babies. And that is very, very common, isn't it? Wouldn't you agree? It's very, very common that if the mother, if the, the wife is close to her mum, then the mum-in-law is going to have more involvement with the family than perhaps the husband's mother who is not around all the time and added to that there's contention and there is strife so even in a reasonable world where the wife might want to reach out to her mother-in-law her husband's mother she might not be able to do it because the husband is like no okay i know her you don't let's just focus on this no 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 i don't want you to stir up any trouble no 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 da, 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 da. It could even be that type of thing. Because you see, a lot of people saying, oh, Vanessa wants to um, stop him from seeing his mom and stop him from doing this. And she's very manipulative and she's a witch and all the rest of it. Some of those things are true. However, it hasn't really come up in my readings that she definitely said, no, you can't have anything to do with your mother. No, I forbid you from seeing your family. No, I don't want them in my house. Da -da -da. No, you can't help your mom and dad. It hasn't come up. Man, if it came up, I would just put it out there because at least then a lot of people say, all oh, right, okay, we were right. I knew it. Is Vanessa manipulative? Yeah, she is. She likes to get her own way. Is she involved in the esoteric? Yes, it's part of her tradition. Is her mum also involved in witchcraft and the esoteric? And is she also highly religious? Yes, 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 yes. But did she stop Kobe Bryant from having a relationship with her mum? Did she stop her grandchildren from having a direct relationship with, with um, not her mum, Kobe's mum? Did she do that? Well, it ain't come up in my readings. You see, I almost stuttered there. It has not come up in my readings that she has. Um... You see, the idea and the concept of family, and um, family is important to African Americans, right? Family is also important to Mexicans. And they both come from strong family backgrounds. I don't know about Vanessa's father. He, her biological father, has never turned up in any of my readings, nor stepdaddy that some people refer to. He never turned up in any of my readings. <laughs> It's always about Vanessa and her mum or Vanessa and her mum and female helpers and healers and, 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 and witches. There's also a wizard. There's also perhaps a big cousin, the guy, one big guy who was at Kobe's private funeral as well, who I believe was kind of like in a bodyguard role. But he definitely comes from some kind of wizard stock and he may be related to Vanessa family and them. Mm -hmm. So you've got two sets of people who come from strong family backgrounds, more or less, and have, a, and have strong ideals about family. Didn't Miss Pam Bryant keep her family tight? She did. Um, I found a couple of pictures the other day, as a, a Google search, where you've got Miss Pam, <coughs> Joe, the two, the two girls, and Kobe, and it's like... They just look like a happy, nice family. 
You know, you could definitely see the energy in that photo. You can definitely see and feel that Miss Pam is the real, real rock and glue that really makes the boat sail very, very nicely for her family. But then her son went and married somebody who's just like her, is also family orientated, but it's her son's reaction to her reaction to his his new girlfriend or at the time that really messed things up. Something happened. Something happened. And I've also done a reading that Mr. Jellybean Joe may have had disclaimer and indiscretion with an Italian woman when they were living in Italy. And it was something that Miss Pam Bryant had to get over, be, uh, had to kind of put to the back of her mind and forgive because she saw the long-term vision of where her family was going, in particular Kobe. So what is she gonna do? Let this little quick dalliance mess up the family and break up the family and change the direction of her children's futures. Why would she do that? You know, this one little indiscretion over here, little, little quick something. And Vanessa is exactly the same as her because when when um, Vanessa um, when Kobe was messing around with that that young girl and then she turned around and she got salty on him and accused him of all kinds of stuff, Vanessa stuck by him. Sure enough, the the big money bag was definitely um, what well, a, a very good reason to stick by him and put on an acting, put on a put on a face like what I got on today. <laughs> Your husband is worth millions and he messes around with a little tart for what, a day or two? You're going to let that mess up your entire marriage and your bag? I mean, fair dues, you can marry him and take half. But. This guy is in the middle of his career, at the start of his career. So. What do I do? Do I jump ship now or what? Do I just continue to sail? The waters may get rough. Yes, they might do. Anyway, the death of Kobe and the death of Gigi has changed the dynamics of the relationship and certainly changed the dynamics of the energy between Miss Sophia and Miss Pam. Miss Sophia is no longer as confident as she was before. Hence, the objectification and the pouring on of intentions of whatever it is that this these two grandmothers are doing, whoever they're pouring out their affections on, probably the grandchildren. Miss Pam is further away, further away in terms of reachability. Miss hmm? Sophia can reach out and attend to her grandchildren and be in touch and, and communicate with her grandchildren. But Miss Pam is all the way over here. Her reach physically and legally is far away. But you see, spirit, <laughs> spirit doesn't do that. Spirit allows you to reach where you want to reach. Just like that. It's faster than USPS, faster than Royal Mail. You can get there immediately with spirit. Yeah. Mm. And that is what Miss Pam is doing. Miss Sophia is aware of that. So she has also upped the ante spiritually because actually her confidence is low. You see, Kobe is not here physically anymore to prevent certain communications from going ahead, to tell certain people to block certain communications, to say, no, he doesn't want to hear that anymore. You know, he can't do that anymore. And there's a sense family, interestingly enough, that spiritually he don't want to do that.
Is it a softening of spirit? Yeah. Softening of his spirit? Yes. Because he is now in a place of deeper understanding. I don't think he's there yet fully in terms of at the... I don't know. Remember, we talked about does spirit feel remorse? Does spirit feel a con does spirit have a conscience? D does it have that once it's crossed over to the other side? We talked about that in a couple of readings about a week ago. Hmm? But there's definitely a softening of spirit because look where Kobe's at. If he wanted to block communications between his mum and his children, he could do it. He, he could do it as in my South London company came out. He could, he could, yes, he could do it. Miss Pam, because of the challenge of being physically and legally far away from the grandchildren in terms of communication and so on, you see, for a woman like that, it just presents a challenge and it allows her kind of game spirit to kick in. Because remember, she got that in her blood. She got the baller energy in her blood. Where do you think Kobe got it from? He got it from her and the father. So you present somebody like Miss Pam with an obstacle and she's going to meet it. She ain't going to run from it. It becomes a game to her and she wants to win. In her mind, she knows she's going to win. For Miss Sophia, same, same. Same, same. Baby, you present me with a difficult situation. I'm going to run it over, run it down, roll over it and turn it into a taco and sell it. <laughs> How you want this tamale? <laughs> I mean, it's just an example. Mm -hmm. What we have here is two highly capable women who don't shirk. They're too old to shirk challenges. They're too old to let obstacles stop them. You can't stop them from doing what they want to do. And you best believe their intentions, that whatever they're doing is going to be hard and impactful and thorough. And they will spend money on oils and advice and consultation and sprays and washes. Yeah. To make sure that whatever it is that they're physically giving has spiritual impact according to what their objectives are. Here I am. I'm grandma. I love you. I want to get to know you. I want you in my life. Family, it does seem with these three cards, confidence in, re in reverse, listening in reverse, and beauty in reverse, it does seem, and then I have another two cards here, but it seems as if Miss Pam might be reaching out to Vanessa in a more softer a more compassionate way. Again, this is something new for her mother, Miss Sophia, because Kobe is not there anymore to stop communications between his mum and his wife. So this is new for Miss Sophia. Okay. Okay. Miss Sophia now looking at things, Mira, with different eyes. Que pasa? Okay, and naturally, as Vanessa's mum, she's on alert because she's been hearing things, because she's been feeling things, and she's been doing a lot of brujaria over the years to make sure that her family's still protected. I know Vanessa is protected, and the bag is protected, and the grandchildren are protected from any contrary stories or any contrary views about Vanessa and her and their side of the familia and their intentions. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's not true, you know? Ah, oh, they said this about your abuelita? No, you're not say. 
<laughs> this person over here, you know, say, I don't know them. You understand? Oh, they don't know me. It's that type of thing. But now the obstacle, the barrier has softened spiritually and physically doesn't exist anymore. Miss Pam now can now reach out to Vanessa. And Miss Sophia is like, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, no. Because Vanessa, when all said and done, is her kid. That's her child, her daughter. Hmm? Her hija. So it goes right to the heart of Miss Sophia, right to the heart. Because she's now seeing Miss Pam. She's now seeing her. Miss Pam has now made herself physically and spiritually apparent as much as she can physically and legally. Listening in reverse. Um, this young lady actually looks like the, the author who made this oracle deck. This young lady here is, is her daughter. This is what she looks like anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> There's another energy attached to this um, because this, as I've told you before, is a Nyx deck. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know where that nail went, but anyway, <laughs> I just noticed. Uh, Miss Sophia does not want to hear nothing new. Everything needs to stay intact and as it was, just as it was before Kobe and Gigi died. No changes, no new friends, no new people, no new energies, no new stories. N nah, mm -mm. Esta, esta basura. Mm, no. Basura. It's all rubbish. This is all new stuff. If Kobe was here, these people wouldn't be talking like this and blah, 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 blah. Miss Sophia don't want to hear nothing about nobody. She don't want to hear nothing new about Miss Pam Bryant either. She's not listening. Mama, escucha me, escucha me, por favor. No. No, 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 no. Vanessa might be trying to appeal to her mom. Say, look, you know, Miss Pam, Kobe's mom, she want to say, no, 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 no. That lady, that woman, you know, remember when da, 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 X, Y, and Z. You remember? Huh? 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 You remember you were very, very upset? And this is that you cry for three days? Blah, 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 blah. No. <laughs> and when mom says no, no means no. So this is why we have this situation. Confidence in reverse listening in reverse and beauty in reverse which applies to both grandmothers and the very beautiful things that they're doing where the essence of it has been lost complicated in reverse and understanding in reverse Things are not as clear cut as they were before Kobe passed away. Things have become complicated, especially financially. And this is something that Miss Sophia does not want to entertain. And this is something which is connected to Miss Pam Bryant also. Miss Sophia don't want to hear about no new arrangement, no new people that financial provision is made for. Who are these people? They weren't around before. And if provision wasn't made for them before, why should it be made now? No. No cambio. No change. 
We keep things the way they are. Because if you start to change things, things get very, very complicated. Huh? Yes. But you see, other people are involved in this. Miss Sophia cannot do all these things by herself. All the, the way she wants things to be done, she cannot do them herself. She got to rely on this lawyer over here, this legal team over here, this one over here, and this one over here. And these people were all uh, put on retainers and um, uh, uh, by Kobe and Vanessa. By Kobe. So even though Miss Sophia may feel a certain way in regards to financial matters and Kobe's mum, she doesn't have the final say because there's this legal team over here, this, this lawyer, this solicitor over here, and this legal document over here, and so on and so forth. The sister's energy has come into this as well. Kobe's sisters. One more stronger than the other. A bit like Kobe's sons. Those boys are male versions of his sister. Sisters. I mean, his sisters are not twins, right? But the way they behave, their attitudes, their temperaments are the same way that Kobe's sons behave. Very, very different. They love each other, but they think differently. Anywho, the energy after this complicated card in reverse has come up. The energy is right here between the complicated energy, legal complicated complicate, complications and financial complications between this and the understanding card. Because things are so complicated, Miss Sophia's comprehension, understanding, in fact, she don't even want to understand. She doesn't want to understand the, the idea of Kobe's commitments, things that he promised, things that he legally promised and perhaps started legal, the legal process for, but didn't complete the legal process. She doesn't understand. There's a block on her understanding. Like it's too much for her. It's become so complicated that she really cannot see one end of it from the other, especially because all these other people are involved in it. The, there is a go-between energy, and it's coming from Kobe's sisters who are both willing, but one is more willing than the other. And to be honest with you, I'm not sure that particular sister is seen eye to eye with the mother, with Pam. There is a difference of opinion between the way Pam seeing things and one of her daughters. And this, and then this particular daughter <coughs> has a quite friendly relationship with Sophia's mother, at least i got to be honest with you, Sophia's mother feels like she can use this young lady to achieve whatever it is that she want to achieve as regards to Pam and any financial provisions, provisions and existing arrangements. Does that make any sense? Does that make any sense? You see, because the way older people think, right, especially a G like Miss Sophia, hmm? she's an older Mexican lady. She got game. <laughs> I mean, Miss Pam got, Miss, Miss Pam is who she is. But Miss Sophia, she, 
she she can see round so she she knows she knows some she knows some stuff <laughs> i find that very endearing but i would do wouldn't i <laughs> old caribbean pirate girl like me well the pirates actually were not african but there you go but anywho <laughs> who are me hearty what i'm trying to say is man it's dirty tricks, it's dirty tricks, it's cloaks and daggers, it's it's getting where you fit in, it's okay, this is the situation. I'ma deal with it. I'ma deal with it face on, head on. And this young lady here, this girl, Kobe's sister, she kinda she kinda alright, she kinda like me. So I can bring her around to my way of thinking. She might be useful to me. She is an ally. She declared herself as an ally. Miss Pam don't like that. That ain't something that Miss Pam likes. But Miss Pam already knows her daughter. She knows her daughter stay and she knows her daughter think differently to her. Actually, her daughter been thinking differently to her. Truth be known. Disclaimer. Family, I'm going to leave it there. 41 minutes and 33 seconds. I got a whole heap of videos to do. Who will leave? My intentions are always good. I always have the intention to put out 10 videos and only put out two. I'm full of shit. Big up on herself from me and my face. <laughs> face. I don't know what I did differently with my makeup today, but it's popping. Big up. Mac or Ramel, one of them. Oh, I think it's this YSL whitening powder. <laughs> It's not, it's not whitening, it's translucent. <laughs> translucent powder. Before you start singing. Me love my car, me love my bike, me love my money and ting. But most of all, me love my browning. <laughs> well, anywho, it's that powder. See there. Big up yourself. I'm going to see you for the next video. Cheers. Ashe.